But I Come think they do I am group. Come on, oh, okay, no, one line. Well, you had, he has to say it in Chinese. How you doing? I, I, I am group. <laughs> Spanish. I had, oh, no, it's Japanese. Japanese. I am the good old good. <laughs> <laughs> It again, it's... you can't even hear this shit. You can't hear it. What the fuck is this? You can't hear it. I hear it. It's a rock shit. What the fuck is this? Oh, okay. Um, this was requested by a viewer. Uh, uh what's your name, bro? What the fuck are you doing? Is that what we're doing now? We're taking your request now for the song? Did, did you listen to this first? What? Did you listen to this song first? It was requested. Somebody requested it. You take, you take requests now? <laughs> they requested it. I play it. Who started taking requests? <laughs> this was listen. requested by... Uh... Listen. <laughs> You got to have a meeting after the show. Okay. Man, we definitely got to have a meeting after this. <laughs> I, I don't even know. Like, I'm not even. What the fuck is this? What is this? You will Bro, come on, man. What are you doing? They requested that we have to play it. No, no, we don't. <laughs> You gotta say yes to everything. What the fuck? It was requested. I don't think it's too early for this. I'm telling you. It's uh, too let's early. See. It was requested by. Uh... I, I don't think it matters. Does it matter at this point? It's requested by. I don't, Jeff think, they, I don't think they're saying words, Nick. What is this? Um, he said, uh, I don't know if this is his band. Um. Uh, this is one of the heaviest bands in town, and what, out I've heard. What town is that? Some rap influences in it. What? I don't. I don't. I don't hear no rap. I don't, I don't hear no rap. rap. Uh, maybe he's talking about the uh, police thing. I don't hear none of this rhyming. I don't hear nothing. Um, oh, if you were probably on acid, it'd probably be a lot better. I don't. What, is, what are we listening to? It's called Manifesto Obey and Rain. Featuring Marshalls from Warriors and Nate the Exbala. Uh we have uh we got only a minute left. We we gotta listen to the whole song? No. Bro, this come on now. This <laughs> I, don't, I think this should be illegal. <laughs> fuck. He requested it. Okay, well, I mean I request it. I don't get what the fuck I asked for. Oh, you don't have admin rights. And I'm here every week. <laughs> you don't have admin rights. Exactly. So what the fuck? <laughs> Um, yeah, you got to find a way to get admin rights. I, I don't know how to give you admin rights. I'm just, I'm just saying I'm here every week and I don't give the fuck I ask for. Somebody asks me to play this, you play it. What the f- what is this? Um, well, you know. What is this? Obey the... Right. Okay. Anyway, welcome to another episode of the Sermon Field Club Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Reed, co-host. The nigga that yelling at me because he thought I could hear him, but I couldn't because he wasn't in the stream. Charlie Hustle. Give a fuck, nigga. I'm not even. I'm not. I'm not. After this shit I just heard, nigga, I'm not even speaking. <laughs> I'm good. Nigga yelling at me because I couldn't hear him. Like I'm his bitch. Well, you do the shit right then. You weren't in the street. <laughs> you d- didn't do it right. You supposed to cook tech. You supposed to eleven thirty. No, nah, fuck you, bitch. I, I need to link at eleven thirty. I gave you the link three days ago. You know how much email I, I get. You know how much email I get. Well, you think I? You think I got? I got to go through old email to search for some bullshit. Put the grinder emails to the side. Hey, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not doing we're not doing that today. Like a separate email box for that. We're not, we're not doing that today. And specifically for the show. No, we're What's up, y'all? Doing. Thanks we're for tuning in. We're not doing that, Pepper. It's hot as a bitch outside. It's supposed to be 100 degrees today. And I got it something was, to do later on. It was 104 yesterday. Um, I didn't think I was gonna make it. Anyway, uh, what's going on, man? Uh nothing, man. I have last night. Nope. So so last night I'm, I'm about to I'm about to tell you. <laughs> last night I went to the little I rarely go out, right? So I have to get off work. So I have to get off at midnight. I went to a little bar down the street. 
It was like it's like a what the fuck is you over there doing? Every time I start talking, you start doing other shit. I feel I feel ignored. Every time I start talking, you start doing other shit. Well, you get a producer to maybe start doing it eleven o'clock. You doing it now while I'm talking. I feel ignored. Any fucking way. So I start I stopped at a little bar down the street, and I rarely go there. But I just I'm like fuck. I'm just I ain't feel like coming home yet. So going out. I mean, I go in the bar. So sitting at the bar, it's like a lot of older people, except it's one broad. So, and I always take the same little spot that's like by the bathroom. So she get up and she go to the bathroom, right? And I look, then I look back. So about five minutes later, this dude came over, sat next to me. He goes, you know, that's a dude, right? <laughs> Nigga said, he, I heard you on the show. Wait a minute. No, I said, wait a minute. That dude, he said, you know, that's a dude, right? I said, no, nah, for real. He said, yeah. He said, I found out the hard way. I ain't even asking what that means, bro. I you know said, what it means. I, I said, found out the hard way. <laughs> I was like, okay. All right, then. Shit. Yeah. But anyway, that's all I've been up I had to work all week. I had to work this fucking week, and I'm not happy. What it is, what it is. Got to pay these bills. Uh, so, but you. I didn't do anything. Um, I never do anything. You ain't never do anything. I ain't in a life, man. Why come you answer the phone when I call half the time? Nigga, what the fuck? I'm just saying. I call, I text you for shit. I be, it be show shit and I text you. You text me five hours later. The way you talking, talking acting like you don't sound like no show shit. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but, uh, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. We're not going to do that. We're not Nigga. doing that. Today. What? <laughs> Uh, we want to start first. Let's start with um, you want to start with Sesame Street or Disney World Brawl? I don't, I don't pick one, I don't care. It's awesome. Don't we talking about the movie shit today? We oh, I mean, today? do you have any movie? Like, the only thing that was popping was Comic Con. We will do another trailer show this week, come out next oh. week because they did drop a lot of trailers. But I mean, I don't how we do it on the comic, we do it on the trailer show. Man. I mean, I just—I mean, there was nothing outside of that, and majority of the trailers I saw was only like two of them I liked. I would do it on the trailer show. Uh, well, you brought it up, so was it? Something I, but I'm fin- but I'm fin- I already said we just do it on the trailer Have show. You attitude to say L- a just- little bit. I told you I don't. I told my stomach hurt. Yes, you text me that at no problem. You text me that. So you text me at eight twenty three. Didn't mention it. You text me again at uh eight thirty one and eight thirty one again. I thought it. What's you text me again at eleven oh one. And then at eleven oh six, you finally mentioned it. So and what? I thought it was subsided by that. I mean, my girlfriend, I was like, "You supposed to come over and take care of me?" They got just figured I would let you know my stomach was bothering me a little bit. Damn. No, no, I would not. Fuck. Uh, let's start with Sesame Street because I let's got start the, with Sesame Street. Let's start with Sesame Street. Um, what I about it? it? I gotta find it first. I think you ain't ready. No, nah, I am. I got a bunch of uh, icons up. Oh no, I wanted to go to Tariq page. That's why. For what? Because when I was trying to look for it yesterday, um, he had all the other clips. Oh, um, because I only could find that one clip with uh, what's his name? Um, R- Risotto, Risotto Chicken. What's the nigga name? I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, Risotto Chick. What the fuck? Now nah, what's the what's the bread? I mean the the little. Uh, it's, like, it's about to show you anyway. It's about to show you. What say bread for? I'm gonna you gotta get this shit off your mind. <laughs> right, that's all I be watching, bro. I need you to stop. <laughs> It's all I'll be watching. Bro. Please, you watch something else, bro. You, I do. It's, it's getting disturbing now. I, I do. I set up a grinder kind of everything. Nigga, what are, you, no, like, what are you talking about? I'm joking. I'm joking. Share. This stream going to be 10 minutes long. You keep this bullshit up. All right. So I don't know if anybody heard. Um, at Sesame Place. Did you hear about this? Did you hear about this? Who, me? Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, yeah, so at Sesame Place. His name is Rosita. It's oh, a couple. Oh, oh, the, yeah. oh, you're talking about the puppet. Okay. Oh, yeah, the puppet. I couldn't remember the, you know, because all I know is Big Bird, Elmo, Bert and Ernie, and what's the Dracula dude? One, two, the count. It's the count. Three. The count. <laughs> Three holes. <laughs> remember that Dave Chappelle joke? Yeah, I remember the joke. Keep, keep it moving. I'm gonna need you not to go out late no more. Nigga, you aggressive. <laughs> I know, man. I ain't used to I'm, I ain't used to it. I'm not used to it, man. See, you, you go home right after work. Anyway, so 
Sesame Place under fire after performer appears to snub two black girls. There's not other couple of snubs, but I guess we can. Well, I'll show the other ones, but um, the, the result, Risotta, the family of two black girls released a new video that shows the perform Rosita dismissing the black girls before greeting other kids right next to them at the Sesame Place theme park. All right, there's no sound, but oh, it, maybe there's sound. Oh, there's sound. It's loud as fuck. Wrong, you it's so loud. Uh, what's that? So turn your volume down. I don't know how. It's on. It's on. Um. Anyway, wait. Anyway, no uh. So anyway, um, this is the next clip. Oh, well, I'll read that later. Actually, uh, I'll read it now. It basically, it's just saying, yo, we apologize. We'll give you some money to NAACP. Um, uh, the performer portrayed the Rosita character has confirmed that the no hand gesture seen several times in the video may, was not directed to any specific person. Rather, it was a response to multiple requests from someone in the crowd who asked Rosita to hold their child for a photo. Okay, man, like man, you know that was bullshit. That if you like look, bullshit. if you look at the way whoever the fuck was in that costume did, you look at them, they looked down and then they were like, Yeah, look, your hand over. It was like, I'll shake your hand, shake yeah. your white hand. Look. Oh, no, Negro. No, 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 look. no, Negro. Look, no, they look no, down no. at her like this. Like, no, no Negro. Oh, no. Look, that, that should actually bullshit. hurt my heart. That should, that should actually hurt my heart. It does. Uh, let me tell you what pissed me off. Look, the little black girl turned around. I was like, what the fuck? But let me let me tell you what pissed me off, though. Well, I mean, okay, so when shit like this happened, I always feel like, I don't, I don't know who saw it, though, so I can't really say. Well, the, the lady was the lady standing right there. She got her hand touched, which maybe she didn't look over. But I always feel like, you know, sometimes like white people say, well, what can we do? Like shit like that right there? That's when you're supposed to do something. That's when you're supposed to, hey, hey, motherfucker Rosita, and jump on the bitch or whatever. <laughs> or something. But it's like being quiet, that's, that's my biggest issue when people see shit like that and be quiet. But I don't know if that lady saw it. He so going I can't clip. say. Now, if this clip came out and that motherfucker right there in the yellow, I think they worked it. Well, wait a minute. So I do know, and I'm not defending. If this clip came out, I don't think it'll be much of an upcry because I do know they're on a time schedule, so they probably got to hurry up and go and can't just hug random kids. But you could have throw your hand out, gave everybody else. No, I five. think, I, but they I did do. wave. Yeah, but, they did wave. But but no, go, no, back, no. go back, go back, go back, go back. Look at when they wave. Look, look. Oh, at it goes back. They... It go back itself. Oh, hold on, bro. Yes. Yeah. That wave, huh? I ain't sure who that wave was to. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Wait, this. I think they. I don't know if they black or white. I, I don't know. But it is like, like fuck out of Sesame Play. <laughs> Here go another clip. Oh, there's more. Here go another one. Oh, it's over Rosita. It's the same. Maybe the same. Maybe the same person. I'm thinking this blatantly racist in that costume. I mean, it might. It might just be that one person. But the thing is, it's he like them, he said them niggas got monkey paws. It's like this. I, you know. It might, it might just be the person in that one Rosita costume. I it always seems to be Rosita. Well, I wonder. I do know they trade out though. So for the purpose yeah. of this conversation, it's multiple people in that Rosita costume. They the costume race. <laughs> costume race. <laughs> Got a racist so, costume. If anyone is sets me, but it's like it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't the. It was the costume. Can I be Rosita? <laughs> it was the costume. And I think this is the last one. I mean, it, it, I mean, it is bothersome. It's, it's bothersome when they look over and ignore certain people. See that? There's something wrong with that. You know what I mean? You see she looked over to so all them kids, hugged the one, and walked the fuck off. That's bothersome. Um, the family did. Um, no, it is. It, it, it's bothersome because it's like, these are kids. Like, it'd be one thing if they were, like, grown adults trying to get a hug. <laughs> like, no, nigga, get your pervert ass away from me. But these are actually children, and that shit will affect them in the long run. Yeah, it will. But, I mean, it was, <laughs> they, 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 they ain't going to like blue motherfuckers. Like, what? <laughs> nigga, it's turquoise. I mean, they don't, but they turquoise. They, but they don't know that the costume. So they really, you know, I don't know if it ain't really the same. Uh, I mean, it is, but it isn't. Unless they grow up and deal with some other shit, but yeah, they got, it's fucked they got, up. And I think Sesame Place was some bullshit. They got uh, they, they got racism and you know, and Elmo touching people. Like, what the fuck is going on? In the Elmo. Sesame Street. What happened with Elmo? No, but it was the the. I think he beat the case. I think, I mean, but somebody just blamed him for some shit, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it, though. They got a lot of. It's but like you blame Disney. somebody for anything. It's, it's like Kid Disney over there. Elmo a puppet. <laughs> you talking? About, it was the dude that played Elmo, though, wasn't it? What did the dude to play the Elmo? 
What he left? He blamed Elmo. I'm just saying. Oh, he say, wait, wait, they, they said the dude that played Elmo did something, right? No, he said Elmo did it. <laughs> no. He said Elmo took over. <laughs> we can't we can't do that this week. <laughs> we can't do that this week. Oh man, but uh the, there was a uh, um on, is this off the damn it man uh stop stream. So the family actually um had a press conference. Luckily, your boy wasn't their lawyer. Come on, uh uh, uh Benjamin Crump. Ben Crump. Yeah, Benjamin don't like Ben Crump. Crump? <laughs> Nigga, no. I why not? How come you don't like how come you don't fuck with Ben Crump? He's he too janky for me. He's like the new I, modern day um uh, Al Sharpton. You know, I thought that. I thought the same thing, but did you see the uh the Netflix show on Ben Crump? No. You should it's a like a documentary. You should watch it. It may change your mind because it kind of changed mine about it. Uh what, what was what's it called? I don't know. Nigga. Ben Crump, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> this thing a recommend it. Ain't but one, it ain't but one documentary with Ben Crump on it. It ain't like he in a gang of this is Ben Crump. So I just type Ben Crump. Probably, I, don't, I guess. What's the uh, uh, the family um, uh, about to do something, you know, about the incident. Can you hear it? No, I don't hear anything. You said no? No, I see it. I don't hear it. Um, I don't know. I just don't do the shit off YouTube. I don't either. Since I know that it works off YouTube. What, 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 the, I mean, what are they going to do? Have a press conference about it? Uh, yeah, they actually did. <laughs> Dead ass. Yeah. That a... Why they Why they had a press conference? Because they feel like they were discriminated against. Well, they were. <laughs> okay, so what, what, what do you think they should get? Well, saying that Monique got something out of it. Uh, we're we not talking about that. We're not on that right now. No, I'm just Let's saying, though. No. Let's own... talk about the subject at hand. We're talking about the subject at hand. But typically, when you have an argument, you have what's to the, use other what, arguments no, to make no, your no, point. No, I just I asked you a simple question. I said, nah, what I do don't... you think they should get? That's well, what, what, I... what did Monique get? No, we're not talking about Monique yet. <laughs> we're talking about what should they get? Uh, I mean, I don't know right now. Um, what do you think they should be do? I mean, is that hard to answer? Well, you won't let me use my argument, so because I don't that know. Because that argument is invalid in this situation. How? This gonna be valid later. <laughs> it's valid. The fuck? What you bring up Monique for? We ain't talk about Monique. You talk about saying you you said how much should the the, the you know the two families or the two sisters? The the baby. I said what should the family get? I mean, you know, let's see when uh, Monique get in come revisit uh, we the situation. Ain't about that. See, hey, what I got this video. You can't stay. You must be. You have like a bro. Racially charged fair snub use, fair by use. a popular character at Sesame Place. The lawyer for the two families of the two six-year-old girls has now released a new video from a new angle to substantiate they say their claims. Alicia's here now with this latest piece mm -hmm. of evidence and still oh, a big no. talker here. Absolutely, everyone talking about this. And we should tell you that attorney, B. Ivory Lamar, gave Sesame Place a deadline to respond, threatening to release this new angle of the alleged incident. Guess and I guess they didn't meet that deadline. He already released here, it. He says, we see the girls from the other side of the parade route. Lamar wrote, writing, quote, this video clearly shows that Skylar and Nyla were approximately two feet away from the Caucasian lady with Fair the purple use. shirt, who was the last person to receive a high five from Rosita. The family says when their girls waved to the character and asked for a high five, maybe a hug, they were blatantly passed over for the white Emily next to them. This is the original video here that, of course, has gone viral oh. all across the globe, taken by the family. Other families have come forward with similar videos. Oh, like says that that's even worse. That's racist! God damn, that was racist. That was racist. Old son yeah. was also ignored by the very same character we see. But it's all the same day in this video yeah. as it plays out. In a, I new it was a different day. Action News overnight, Sesame Place says, in part, quote, to be very clear, what the two girl, young girls experienced, what the family experienced, is un unacceptable. It is our responsibility to make this better for the children and the family, and to be better for all families. Now, um, another step in this: nationally renowned civil rights and personal injury attorney Ben Crump oh, has now shit. joined this case. They Never mind. <laughs> How wrong I was. Okay. All right. Um, next up, we have uh, the Disney World. What was that a setting on? Wait, you can play too? Yeah, so I guess it mutes you. Uh, oh, but I okay. can play it through here. But um, yeah, it looked like a fan reunion. 
I'm trying to figure out, like, uh, so is it two different families? Because you got it's like you got people in the in the black shorts and the white shirt. It looks you got so some look, people like red and white. So I think I think all that's the same color. No, but you I got look saying, black, I, some people got black shorts on though. Like so is that a coordinated thing or the red? It look like they all together. I'm going to assume all the black people are together. Uh huh. And then all these no. Oh, so wait a minute. I'm confused. So who are these white people over here? They want to fight. I don't think they. I don't think they're part of it, are they? Well, well, dude, Vato's locos over there with the tattoos. Look like he was ready to fight. Yes, I can't. I can't tell exactly what's going on. I don't know if it's two families or if it's like. You know, like might be a family, some in-laws, because even some of the black people, the people, not black people, the people with the black and white, it's like they're trying to break up some of the other people shit. But why was he trying to fight? They trying to hold back. It's weird to me. I don't but know. It's, 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 it looks like some, it's like some in-law shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like your name wanted to come. You know, I don't like that bitch no way. And then it just escalated. <laughs> That's what it looked like. So a massive brawl that erupted at Disney World Magic Kingdom this week has resulted in two arrests as well as bans for the theme park for several alleg alleged participants, according to a report. The wild um, farce among at least 10 people erupted outside Mickey's something theater at Orlando Florida theme park on Thursday after two families got into an argument while waiting in line. Also oh, waiting in line, sparking a Tangle uh fisticuffs and landed at least one man in the hospital. Shit. What are they waiting in line for? Did they, did they say was it waiting in line to get in the park or was this like so whatever this theater was, the Mickey something theater at Lando Ford oh. Park? It looks like uh, uh one of the alleged participants who was hauled off in an ambulance and hospitalized due to a large okay. cut on his chin confirmed yeah. that the clap down in a written message to Disney blog Walt Disney World News today. So it just uh, there ain't nobody's here what the fight was about. Uh, the guests claim that they have been banned from Magic Kingdom. Yeah, once you fight at Disney, they say you banned for damn near life. Oh, to make us leave the resort, which is <laughs> Riviera Resort, which is Riviera, even though we we're other two for there for another two weeks. Oh shit! There's a video where they stomping out somebody. It wasn't in the video. The same people. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Oh damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> the, the nasty fight was caught on camera by witnesses posted oh, for social media. And of course, reports uh, the saga kicked off after one family member left the line. Oh, I did hear about this to so retrieve her phone. Okay, so uh, one family member left the line to retrieve her phone. When she tried oh, to rejoin yeah. her group, the other family, all dressed identical in red shorts and white t shirts, tried to block her from regaining her spot. Well, Disney News today, they got their own news channel. I probably. I mean, Walt Disney got their own every day. They got their own. They got the streaming channel. They may as well. What can they talk about on there? I don't know. Probably Walt Disney news shit. Uh, reported that two families confronted each other at the theater exit. And also, they waited to after. They went. They went. Wait a minute. So they wait a minute. Wait a minute. They went in, watched the show, and then dealt with the shit later. Yeah, they probably was waiting in line. Like, nah, oh, we we had the shit. God afterwards. damn. Um. Uh, Walt Disney <laughs> News reported that two families confronted each other at the theater exit with a member of the girl's family saying to the in short clan, we don't appreciate you guys pushing my younger sister. Somebody got pushed. Um, allegedly. A shouting match and shoot. Now somebody got, look at this photo. Somebody got pushed. I can't I can't see that shit. Oh, make the make the what's name bigger? I mean, you got the other thing up. So I can't really see it. Oh, what? No, you got the, the big fox doing the middle. Oh, no, no, no. This is uh, actually just come off the screen, honestly. That's what I'm saying. And it's then the hold the phone up. Oh, oh, no, I see what you're saying. Oh, I see close that window up. Uh, if you see, I still can't. I might see it look like a brawl, but I can't tell what's going on. She, she, she's abroad. Uh, shot a match and shoot, and the both groups all profanities. Basically, this is a fight. Um, oh, that's somebody getting back in line. Yeah, by Santa's um oh, several so they oh, damn they said the red short family, red shorts family allegedly stole or broke several personal items belonging to their opponents, including mobile phones and design designer code. said opponents. Like, <laughs> it's a whole boxing match. Like a MMA fight or some shit. But then uh, so okay, so but then what I mean, what's the rules for getting in line though? Well, if you say to someone like, "Hey, do you mind if I um 
hey, I left my phone. Do you mind if I, you know, go and get it, come back? You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, they holding my spot. I mean, I'm fine with that, but if you, I mean, this has some common decency, honestly. But if there, so, but if there is a group, because I'm assuming there was a group of people in line. Oh, I know why. And then somebody was like, hey, I left my phone. They walked over to get their phone. I mean, I don't know where they walked to. They went to get their phone. Then they came back and the person would let them in the line. Does that sound right? Yeah, that sounds like what happened. She left the phone, came back. I mean, if you're with a group and you step out, I don't see the big deal about letting somebody you know, get their shit and get back in line. Unless they didn't see you leave and you came back. Because, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I remember there was a fight that broke out at the movie theater because somebody left. No, it was kind of different, but it's kind of the same. Somebody was holding a spot at like the free advanced movie screening. So you had a, oh, okay. and they were like, oh no, he's holding my spot. Like, no, fuck no, ain't no holding spots. But if you, like in the, but in the advanced screen, I mean, if, if the movie started, I don't know. Let's say if it started four, you standing in line. I mean, you just like admit two, usually. So if it, if, it, if you wait, you saying they were in line or like, hey, me and this person together and they wouldn't let them up front or. So the only, only from what I remember, only a certain amount of people would be able to get in. That's true. So if it's a hundred people, uh, I'm a hundred and one. I mean, I'm a hundred, but you I let him in. Right. I'm a hundred and one now. I got no, you. Go nigga, right. no. And I mean, one time they just let a bunch of people holding the spots. Like it's, they had, yeah, it was admit two. They had the ticket, but it's like, nah, fuck out of here. Yeah, I, I, I got, I got you. All right, I see what you're saying. Um, so. But then do you okay? So what if you the grocery like you ever had a grocery store? Oh fuck could, them in that grocery store. I'm sick of them <laughs> niggas irritate the shit out of me. Be one person <laughs> waiting in line, then they be like, okay, oh, you go ahead, I'm waiting on someone. You go ahead, with, yeah, you have to see go up. Then it's like, oh, oh, a big ass cart full of section right. A food. And then, or then somebody, I'm telling you the worst shit. The people t- they'll take their kid and tell their kid to get in the line with the cart. <laughs> they be walking around the store grabbing shit and coming back. You ever see that happen? That shit is irritating as fuck. They were walking around a whole fucking store grabbing shit and then walking it back to the car and putting it in like the kid's supposed to be. I'm like, nah, you can't, you can't do that. You can't shop and leave your kid here. And when you get done, your kid automatically supposed to be first. Nah, it can't work like that. Yeah. Um. Uh. It, that, yeah, that happened at um. I think it was Safeway, and I was standing in line, and I had a cart. And mm. they let three people up. It was time for me to go. And I guess it wasn't a kid. It was an adult. Mm. And she finally was able to come. No, I didn't have a car. I had like a little basket. It was like maybe seven. Yeah. And then she let, let the person come up. I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not going to wait now. And she said, oh, well, he was waiting here. I said, you know, oh, no, I did have a car. I had a car full of food. It was two oh. different occasions. I said, yo, either you ring me up. I'm leaving this shit here. Your boy going to have to put this shit back. And uh. I left that shit there. Else. Fucking people. Uh, Can't let them get away with the bullshit. I do think at some stores you're not allowed to do that. I thought in most stores you aren't allowed to do it. I mean, it depends on where the store at. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you might be scared to say something. No, you go ahead, brother. It's cool. It's cool. So, let's see. Anything else there? Uh, let's see. The guest claimed that his family has been banned from Magic Kingdom as well as other Disney properties, including the hotel. Meanwhile, two members of the other fist throwing family, all of whom had been dressed identical. Oh, it was two different families, but wearing shorts. That's what I said. I said it was the ones in the, the, ones in the black and the ones in the red, two different families. Well, they said, well, there was red shorts and red shorts. I, so it's a little confusing looking at the video. So. If you look, damn, she punched. So yeah, like she punched her right there. Oh, you see the one girl. Wait, hold up. Did you see the one girl right there? Well, it's one girl. She was walking with a limp. But I think she had a special shoe on right there. Oh, oh she got. Oh, she got one shoe on. She somebody knocked the shoe off. Knocked, somebody hit this bitch so hard her shoe came off. Knock the shoe off a bitch. How you do that? <laughs> um. So. Uh, that. I'm saying. Man, she looks crooked as shit. Do you see how she's standing? She was standing. There. Jesus Christ. It's about a, it was like a two inch difference, but she was standing still without the shoe on. It was like a two inch difference between. Oh, well, she hit two people twice behind the back. Wait a minute. And then she's she just stopped. walking over and punching people. Yeah, she's just walking over. Okay, you need to be locked up. Somebody, that's see. And then, but, but, but she, look. Oh wait a minute. Let me see the same person. Hold on. 
But this one, what you do when you get a chance, rewind it and watch it again. I want to show you something. Oh, you want to rewind it now? Yeah, I mean, what to wherever? Yeah, uh, I just want you to pay attention. This no, what no? You got your finger on the pause button? Yeah. Go, go all the way back as far as you can go. That's as far as I can go. Okay, go. Pause. You see what just happened? Yeah, she sucker punched her. All right, now keep going. Do you see what's going on now, right? Yeah. They keep watching. They keep watching. Pause. You see what just happened? Yeah, that's what I was bringing up. What? What were you bringing up? That she's talking about the same person twice. I know, but no, just keep going. I know, but just uh -oh. keep going. <laughs> Why would you hit me? <laughs> Why would you do that? Is there any place you want me to go? No, no, just I just want you watch. I just want you watch what happened. Is this a new clip or same clip? It, it, it transitioned over. I don't know what happened. Let's keep watching. I, I was just I, I noticed something. I just wanted to see well, what happened. Just, just, had lot, just had a lot of dead air. That's all. I just, <laughs> no, it's cool. No, I'm just I just want you to pay attention to what's fuck going on though. I'll just put the SpongeBob in it. Is he? Is he what's going on? You see what happened right there? I you see what see. just happened? And it was, it's a crowd of people I can't see. Okay. Well, you, I mean, you can probably stop it now. But here's my point. All the dudes were trying to break the shit up. <laughs> All the broads kept trying to fight. Even oh. when they were trying to calm the shit down. The moment I was talking about the other week, I don't know, I probably talked a while ago about how motherfuckers put you in danger. That's the shit I'm talking about right there. It's like you trying to you trying to ease the shit up like, yo, listen, listen, chill, chill, chill. And then motherfucker keep escalating and escalating and escalating. Like, I mean, had that been, you know, out in the street somewhere, who knows where some shit like that would end? Just because it's a motherfucker around you that can't control itself. Pe people, people in general just got to do better. Because it, it's, it's fucked up that it, I mean, it happened at Disneyland, but it could have happened anyway. And if a motherfucker can't, if a mother can't control himself enough to like stop and ease the situation, shit can end a whole lot worse, you know, in other places. But that said, the two families who had the red. So I guess, well, they said in the story that the two families had the same set of clothes on that was brawling. But in this, it don't seem like they had the same set of clothes on. It seemed like was, it, it, it looked like it was a family. It, I mean, you had red shorts. Black shorts, and then, but he had other people. Like I don't, the other people. I don't even know if so the other people were even involved. Shoes. They were just bystanders trying to break it up. Like I can't tell what's what because there's too much going on there. Yeah. So, like, but all I, I know is that one, that one broad in the red shorts with the long braids. She seems to be the one initiating a lot of stuff. She, she keeps. It's like she's walking around hitting people. <laughs> she like a kid. <laughs> yeah, it's like she like she can't let the shit go. Yeah, she like a kid. Whoever, oh. whoever fuck with her need to break up with the bitch. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I break up with it. I would. I break up with it. I wonder like, what's going on. Yourself. I wonder what happened with him. Like this Ooh, nigga. Which one? I don't know if he was like, come on, bro. Just let me bang. He might be <laughs> come on, he bro. Just, just let me bang, bro. He might have just been there, just wanted to get in there. And just and it seemed like oh, fuck, I need just to fight. randomly just popped out of nowhere. It was like, oh, they fight? Sometimes I'm, it happens. Just, whatever, baby. Because you ever seen that shit sometimes? Like when they showed him, you know, I don't I don't watch fight videos because I'm non-violent, but you ever seen videos like somebody who out of nowhere, the only thing that involved, it just pop up. Say what? <laughs> Said you sent me this video. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the dude that just pop up out of nowhere, like oh they banging. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take your shirt off and you step in the motherfucker. Like, like he had not like he was. If you look at the video, he's nowhere to be found in this video. Nah, he just showed up out of nowhere. He's no. <laughs> Every time she hit, <laughs> it's just, but it's just her though. I don't know why that shit funny, but it is. It's I should be laughing at it. You know what? It's because it's, it's because it's her. It's like everybody else. It's like nobody doing shit, and then it's the same person. Bye. I know what it is. Okay, I know what it is. Keep watching. What? Keep watching it. Like you see okay. where she at, right? Yeah. Keep watching. Keep watching. Look, watching. Okay, you know what? You know what? Start with the game. Look at her feet. Look at her feet. 
Just keep looking at her feet. Look at her feet. Just keep looking at her feet. Look at her feet and leg. It was like she was winding up. Yeah. She wind up a toy. And did she hit the same? Did she hit the same person twice? I think she did. I, yes, she did. It's like she can't. It's like she can't stop. <laughs> it's like she. I want to know what happened to this bitch toe. I Which mean, this one? bitch. She probably was fighting. The shoe came off. It's just much. But I think she just lost the shoe. When this motherfucker, that's kind of fucked up. I think she just lost the shoe. But it's just the same. It's like she keeps hitting the same person. I would have been. And it's like the bro, like, would you stop hitting me? That's what she said. Stop it. Stop hitting me. Like, there's other people here. Hit them. Yeah. I wonder if that's. I wonder if it. That that look personal. That look real personal. (laughs) That look personal as shit, though. I wonder if she's the one that started it. I don't know where it started. Well, I wonder if that's the one who fought. Left the phone. She probably want. She probably want to steal his shit too. Maybe that's the one with the phone. Maybe that's her. Cause it's like that. That same broad in the middle of everything. It's like she can't. Want to know what's she going? Can't on turn with it off. I need to know what's going on. This, they had nothing to do with this. Like nothing at all. He's like Jeff. Just calm down. Like, what? Came out of nowhere. Like what are you doing? I want to bang, bro. You remember he that? Want to fight somebody? He just. Did you ever see that before? Like he just got out. What? I want to bang, bro. I, know, like, I heard. What was it in, though? Right, this is a little too. This is a little too suspect for me. No, this is a little too suspect. <laughs> it's not me, babe, but it's how that guy was. He was like, it's not me, babe. He was like, Jeff, what the fuck? We have nothing to do with this. This is black people problems. I don't mean, you yeah. said suspect, you made me think of this movie I, I heard about. It. I didn't watch it yet, though. Oh. You ever heard of a movie called Mope? M O P E? No. So, do you remember the story a couple of years ago about there was a. <laughs> This is, this is so fucking off topic, but it was a story about it. It was a porn, it was a black porn porn star who killed another guy with a samurai sword. Was this a true story? Yeah, it was a true story. I do remember the story. Did he? Have he like this? He jumped off a cliff or some shit. Well, he, I, they, he yeah, went off I, I know the story. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know the. Well, he killed himself. <laughs> yeah, but they, no, no, that's not what happened. But they made a movie about it. It's called Mope. M O P E. <laughs> the nigga was, I saw the trailer. I was like, "Well, oh, you know that? Because you know, I was looking up. I was looking up the movie Nope N O P, and I guess I must have mistyped the M. And when it came up, I was like, "What the fuck?" And it said based on the something outrageous true stories. So I looked the shit up. I don't. They made a movie about this shit about the guy who, you know, who killed killed another porn star with a samurai sword. Yeah, I I, I remember the story. Oh, I, was like, I I didn't know no, they made a movie about it. I didn't need it. Came out like and I think he was like high as shit or something. Talking about he was the devil and shit. Yeah, it came out like 2017. Yeah. Oh, that. But David so Arquette cool. was in it. Yeah, David Arquette was in it. That oh. motherfucker star anything. That's all to say. That that's not surprising. David Arquette is in it. Yeah, that motherfucker be anything. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't got shit going over. Like it's called David Arquette. He ain't doing that. Okay. <laughs> I do it. All right, this is your story right here because I, I I've been waiting. What's my and, story? I've been waiting and anticipate for this one. How's it my story? <laughs> I, I've been that's his story. That ain't my story. <laughs> I've been waiting all week. I, I've been dying not to watch it. Hold on. How's it my story? Because you told me about it. Well, to an, extent, it. to an extent. Well, you got the so you want to play the clip first? You want me to tell you what, what happened? Uh tell me what happened because I forgot I can't do something a certain way. So just okay, so there's a there's a documentary somebody made about uh it's a guy, there's a guy named Jeff Jesse Lee Peterson. Amazing. Amazing, <laughs> who's a, he's a, I guess he's like a conservative, I don't know if he's a conservative, but he's a, he's supposed to be a reverend, but now some of the stuff I've been reading, they say he was a uh, self, what do you call it, like a self, self-described self reverend or whatever, but he has a, um, he has a YouTube channel called The Fallen State, which is fucking hilarious, if you like me, this shit's hilarious. And he also does a like a daily podcast, a weekly podcast, whatever. But anyway, got it, Jesse Peterson. But um, 
So he, he always speaks, you know, against the LGBTQ community. And there's some allegations that have come out saying that he was actually homosexual. And there's a guy that made a documentary called, uh, oh, shit, I can't think of the name of the documentary. But there's a guy, it's on YouTube, but there's a guy who made a documentary about Jesse Lee Peterson and some of the things he did on uh, YouTube. So the guy was following Jesse Lee Peterson. And they say he caused an accident. So we want to go all the way to the beginning, maybe one, two. Oh, yeah. The story, the story, the story that was published was Jesse Lee Peterson causes, oh, he said runs and causes a car crash. Runs from Martin. His name is Martin, I guess. Yeah, I sent you. I thought I sent you a link for the guy. Yeah, I forgot that, that, uh, that it would mute you if I had to, if I played it. No, it's cool. It's cool. I just wanted to. Yeah. Hey, Jesse Peterson. Martin Francis here. Martin Francis here. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm the first man in your whole career. I am. No, been funny. Do you watch Fallen State? Yeah, I, always, I think I watch this shit all the time. Do you know how sometimes when they leave, you're like, you're just going to leave? Yeah. It's been funny. Mark was like, so you're just going to walk away and leave from me? <laughs> you're just going to gonna walk away? The first man in your whole career that you have run from, like the chicken song that you play. You are running from me. Is he on the phone? Yeah. You're running from your, At from least you your act like uh, what you've been doing for 31 years. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he calls that shit? No, 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 just, I don't believe, he will he he keep following He uh, tried to cross the street before he should have <laughs> and caused these cars to stop and bash and bash into each other. So He ain't caused that. That's because um, I now have video proof more so than before <laughs> oh that's nice he, he wants me to tell them how i was sleeping with my brother's wife that's fine but jesse why will you not speak on your homosexual oh that's behaviors? his building i guess here we just probably does a show with him oh that's so. why he was able to find him so now, they're, 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 they're a couple of things. The one, I mean, the guy, he's just accusing Jesse Lee Peterson of, you know, whatever. You know. Now that, have you, so the name of the documentary is called Amazing Disgrace. You ever heard of it? Uh, no. Okay, so now if you watch this documentary, now, now, okay, so you got R. Kelly, right? And you got Jesse Lee Peterson. Now, the motherfuckers in this in this. Jesse Lee Peterson documentary that they made. If you do the math, all these motherfuckers were like thirty in their thirties and forties talking about Jesse Lee Peterson was grooming them for shit. Which, how the fuck you get groomed for some shit in your thirties? Like this one dude said some shit like uh, Jesse Lee came in and he was talking to him about some shit, trying to counsel him on some shit, and then he got the dude said. Jesse Lee Peterson got down on his knees and unbuckled his pants and sat the third. Like that. If somebody if a grown, if you grow your thirties and a grown man does that, nigga, you want his head. There's no way. Yes, yeah, hey, you can't groom no 30-year-old man to do shit. Nigga, you wanted it. I like your boy Terry Crews. We talk about Terry, that later. Terry Crews, I don't know that nigga. You remember that nigga when he got groped, he talking about he ain't do nothing. That big goofball ass nigga. You know what I'm talking about? When yeah, you, but nigga you said my him. boy. I don't know that nigga. You like Terry Crews? We, <laughs> I'm just bullshit. Never on this show have I said it. He was I'm good. Bullshit. He did have one of the best scenes in cinematic history, though. What scene was that? In, in Expendables. Which one are you talking about? When he came, he saved the day. Oh, with the with the, with the gun? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that joint was tight. Yeah, no, no, bro. <laughs> no, was tough. You get a little small pass for that. It was quiet. The motherfucker he was do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker was that motherfucker was uh, tight. But he got shot in the ass in the next movie. <laughs> you would remember that, wouldn't you? Because that's what happened. And that was the third one, I thought. Oh, the third one, yeah. Because he wasn't I, in the third one. We can't have this moist nigga in this movie. The wolf guy. Is this it? <laughs> Which was that? It what? That's the documentary, yeah. But if you fast forward a little bit, you'll see some of the dudes he was talking to. This motherfucker was old as shit. This and dude? From that yeah, how you forward, go? This old ass. Right dude. after the show happened, Jesse and, uh, and I talked in the green room. I'm going to spend a little bit of it. Oh. Everybody know Patrick. Fair Lee, use. One of the smartest white men on this side of heaven. <laughs> the two were so close that Jesse was the minister at his wedding and the pastor at his baptism. 
long before Rooney claimed any homosexual activities began. Right around that time, I also had started Fair a you. TV show. I was doing a public access TV show in L.A. and uh, with a friend of mine who uh, had uh, gotten off heroin and wanted to, he asked me to be involved in the show to help uh, other people get off drugs and things like that. So we started the show and one of our first guests was Jesse and another gentleman from Bond. We did a couple shows with them. And from that time forward, right after the show happened, Jesse and, uh, and I talked in the green room, you know, backstage. And right off the bat, he started asking me stuff. Jesse's very forward with his questioning and things like that. So, so he actually dick. asked me right after that show. <laughs> hey, uh, that's not what he's he saying. Before was flirting with him. Yeah. Put his hand in your thigh shit. He mad because the gay motherfucker flirted with him. I mean, alleged. I won't even say guy. Alleged LD, LGBTQ, which is nothing Rudy's wrong with characterization that. shows that Jesse allegedly used wow. similar grooming tactics as other homo predators. Like Saginaw priest Father Robert Deland. Well, scroll, who asked go forward a little bit. I, I ain't even look at this whole thing in time stamp. It. But it's like a group of guys in the room like talking. Play around and joke about it. Fast forward to 2005, and Jesse was ready to make his final. Keep going, keep going. Right, right there. That dude right there. Right there. Around first time. Right. Two weeks or something. Oh, like shit. Wait a minute. 20. Oh, that was 20. Weird. They grown in a motherfucker. Uh, How you? 2020. Coronavirus, lockdowns, everything. As soon as they open back. He looked like a straight up uh, meth head. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's, the, that's the dude in the middle with the striped shirt on? Yeah. So that's the dude who had the, uh, that's the web, web page I sent you. Oh, he looked like he's straight up on meth. Nigga. <laughs> The other one trying to look real pitiful. Like, why am I even here? Why am I here? I, I can't believe I'm, I can't I, believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. This ain't even worth the hundred dollars. Um, <laughs> the first thing I said, I said, my name is Samuel, and uh, Watch this shit. I'm here because uh, you know, you helped me a lot. Uh, I, I went and forgave my mom. I went and forgave my dad. I had a lot of anger, and I just dropped that, and I feel way better now. I, I like I'm I'm really you know growing, and I want to thank you for it. Among him are three other alleged witnesses Amazing. and victims who also chose to tell their stories. Samuel began his relationship with Jesse professionally, washing cars for him and doing other cleaning work at what they call the Bond House. The Bond oh. House is where Jesse and several this of his shit. male staff currently live. What's that and nigga that died? He, um, Trump homeboy? Tell me about, uh, um, God damn. The one with Giselle. Gis yeah. Some Maxwell, the one, the one that died in jail allegedly. Hey, what's his name? That motherfucker on the island somewhere. That nigga ain't dead. You know that motherfucker ain't dead, right? Oh, I, I, I think he is. I, I he know too know. much. He know too much. What's that nigga name? Anyway, I'm gonna play a little bit more. Hey, what's his name? When Samuel began opening up to Jesse about his past. Things got personal. Jeffrey Epstein. I was molested. As a this remind me of Jeffrey Epstein. Talking about the house and everything. I ain't watched all of his documentaries. Just a little too out there for me. Jeffrey like, Epstein shit was way. Jeffrey Epstein shit was different though. No, what Jeffrey I'm saying Epstein is, shit was like I'm talking about the house and shit. He like Jesse Lee Peters got his own little house where he groomed grown men. Yeah, but the, the, but the difference is Jesse Lee Peterson. These are these the motherfuckers grown. They, uh, uh, what's the other cat name? Uh, uh, Epstein. I mean it, the stories where they were like teenage girls and stuff. No, what I was saying, I'm talking about just the house and shit. Oh, okay, okay. Like, he got, oh, yeah, like, that's what they always like. Playboy man, the same shit. Boy, so I was like, Jesse, what do I do? Like, this is a uh, weighing heavy on me. What should I do? What's up with the nigga? No, keep, up, keep playing this motherfucker talking about. Watch this. That forgive him. It's in the past. But you see what that, the way that nigga said? Slowly, Ooh. closer and closer. I didn't suspect anything weird of it. There were certain times where he began hugging me, where I was like, oh, I never been hugged by man. Man, all right, this but is bullshit. I was like, this is, I guess, he would just tell me, like, but, you know, I just watch what he says. So I'm like, okay, I, I guess you, you know, I love you too. But much like with Patrick Rooney, Samuel states things went from casually close to mortally sinful. So a Friday afternoon, uh, evening, I go to Jesse's house and I am sitting in his couch, relaxing, you know, I'm, I'm kind of avoiding the LA traffic at the peak hour. So it's a good, it's a good deal. And I get to stay somewhere with someone that I respect, friends. So then by this point, we're already real comfortable with like hugging and, and all that stuff, you know, just hugging for long periods of time. I thought nothing weird of it. I guess it, my, my guard had already been let down. Completely. He hugged him off. So he, I'm sitting on this couch. He kneels down in front of me 
and then he wraps oh shit himself <laughs> around his arms around my waist and i'm like okay this is kind of weird but yeah, i'll be done with I this I don't i'm just saying but... i'm just i just want you now you can pause I mean, you can stop it i'm just saying do you understand the story this grown man that's what my if, I, if I go like, over nigga house serious? Say what? My face is like, are you, are we really talking like, about this? You go over like, grown man house and this motherfucker. Do you, you understand how much furniture we broken up in that motherfucker? I would tear that motherfucker up. And this nigga over here look like, this nigga, clearly this not a real interview because he on his phone. He look like, oh, doing something with his shirt. He look like a tweaker. This nigga look like a straight up grinder. Yeah, look like one of Thomas Fellows would catch. Oh. <laughs> like, Hey, and this nigga right here, like the dude on the far, I guess far right, he like, oh, that shit ain't never happened to me. I <laughs> look like I oh, oh, this nigga's like, I'm in the wrong I interview. Like I, I oh, like... I'm here for AA. I didn't, I didn't know, know I was supposed to say all that. <laughs> I just, I'm not just supposed to be like, I don't take none of this shit serious. I don't, but, it may have happened to me, didn't, but I don't uh, believe it. Like, I'm dead dude, ass. I don't believe it. So the dude in the striped shirt, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you one movie reference. Philadelphia. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. That's they all I'm gonna say is Philadelphia. Yeah. That dude ain't because I looked at a couple of his videos. I'm like, uh, I don't know about this dude. That dude, he was like a little off. He well, did. Like, I don't know what he's doing with off. his shirt. What the fuck is he doing with his shirt? And he, hey, nigga, this. So, so my my whole thing with that is. It's like people people make an accusation against somebody. They go Jesse Lee Peterson did ABC. Why are they not moving? Like and what you mean not moving? Wait a minute, people, something up with this video. What you mean? Look at it. I can't see it. I'm I'm just, oh shit, my bad. I'm dead ass. Cool. What, that look like really look at the three. Don't look at the dude talking. Okay. Look at the three people. I don't think they're I don't think this is. It's like they stop motion. Just like look at he, it. I'm sitting in this couch. Or well, something. I know, I know, but it's real quick. I'm trying to get. Okay, look at it. And all that stuff, you know, just hugging for long periods of time. Oh, he did. I saw nothing weird of it. What is he doing? My, like those two look stale. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Now he so, moved. He texts on his phone, but I'm, he, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, what moving, may be going moving. on. I mean, look, I I ain't capable of Jesse Jesse Lee because I don't know. I don't really care one way or the other. But it almost, if to me, it feels like they're trying to, they're trying to make sure they say the things that they're supposed to say. Oh, you know what I mean? he was texting while well, looking at his phone. Okay, okay. It's like, but the dude, it. that dude in the striped shirt, he got a page. I think I sent you a link to him. But if you look at his page, that dude, he's weird anyway. The stuff they say in this, you know, pseudo documentary, or whatever, it doesn't make them look any better. All right, so next week maybe we'll, we'll go watch this whole thing and then break yeah. it down. If you see, it's only half hour long. Yeah, it's going to be two hours with us with the jokes. But it does, yeah, it it doesn't make them look any better. I mean, the shit they said, but there's no growing, no growing. Because if you do the mathematically, I think they supposed they were like thirty something. You thirty something, and some dude mess with you, nigga. You wanted it. That's how I feel. <laughs> I forgot the gray man came out this weekend. You can't groom, groom nobody. There, we talked about that on we talked about that on the trailer show. I just forgot it came out. I got a text. I oh yeah, it's on Netflix. I ain't watched uh, it yet. Oh, I didn't expect you to. Do you see? Nope. No, nah, I ain't gonna see it. You gonna see it today? I gotta All work, right. nigga. If I, if I had to work, I go. I'm gonna go see it before the week. I'll see it before we do the next show, nigga. What you I, don't about believe, you? I don't believe you. <sighs> nah, it's, it's not my problem. All right, bro. I'm about to get into this. Uh, the main topic. Um, your girl, Big Mama. <laughs> no, we like oh. <laughs> Big Mama. Uh, all right, hold on, me, hold on. All right, so uh, Big Mama, aka Monique. What was her name in Precious? I've never seen that movie. What was I don't name? know. You never saw Precious? Oh, you gotta watch this shit. Oh, no, that's I ain't never seen no that's shit, bri- that's, That movie's brilliant. See, but see, that's that's why you don't like Monique. You've never seen Monique act. I have seen her act. No, no, no. You haven't seen her have to act. Impressive. She, 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 she should have got an Oscar in Fat Girls. That was an amazing film. Get the fuck out of here with this goofball <laughs> shit. No, but see, you didn't see her act. I know. I seen the movie. Like, I seen bits and pieces. Of- no, no, that watch the hard. fucking movie. That movie was, watch that movie's not, that movie's not a really, when I say not a good movie, that movie isn't something I want in my equilibrium. Like, nigga. She the, like- movie, the movie's not that good, I don't think. But I think Monique in that, I think she's, 
I think she's spectacular. Come eat this. And I don't pussy use that precious. word often. I think she's spectacular. Come eat this pussy, precious. Come. Like, <laughs> bitch. Bitch, you ain't put no. Well, what she did. But you yeah. know that move was written. You know that move was from a book, a novel, though, right? Yeah, it's called uh, Push. Push, yeah. But uh, they couldn't name it Push because the movie with Chris Evans came out called Push, right. like a week earlier. But you know. That movie wasn't that great, so they probably could have won that battle, court yeah, battle. Yeah, <laughs> they could have won that court yeah, battle. That was some trash. Um, so since this is your girl, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, Why keep, I gotta be my girl first? You keep capable for this, big boy. I'm not capable. For. That's I just no, but you, you the one with the beef. I don't, have, I don't know her to have. You, the, you, you no, you got beef Tom, with her. Like, well, for, like for motherfuckers that don't know, you got a whole lot of shit to say about her. Because so, you're not gonna go and try to have my com- my community pit my community against other people. She ain't never going against white people. What people? They're my people. What people? Tell black. me what people. Black. What people? Tell me what people. I talked about this, Steve Hart. No, no, fuck me. You brought no, you can bring, brought shit up. So what people? I, I, I just named them. Nick Name Nick. them again. First off, don't tell me what to do on my show. <laughs> oh, oh, it's your, it's your show. Okay. Just don't leave yet, because oh, okay. <laughs> just don't leave okay. yet. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, it's yours now. Okay. Right. The, the white man t- told me to say that. <laughs> he said, "You know, you, you know, you need Charlie." I was about to say your real name too. <laughs> you know, white people use a real name. <laughs> you know, we don't need, we don't need Andrew. We don't need Andrew. <laughs> You, know, you, you just put it out there anyway. What the fuck is wrong with you? You can do this all by yourself. <laughs> you sign right here. <laughs> be like Ray Charles. <laughs> Did Ray like backdoor some nigga? Oh, back what? No, <laughs> what the fuck you talking nah, about? just like all some gay shit. Well, I did what you say. <laughs> all some gay shit. I don't know what you talking, talking about. Anyway, let's get into just been to the meat and crumbs of this meat and um, crumbs. Ain't that what they say? Meat potatoes. <laughs> Fuck wrong. Don't need crop. Three years after after she sued, Monique is finally getting her Netflix special. Monique is getting her Netflix special. About a month after selling her lawsuit with accused of streaming, accused that oh fuck her lawsuit that accused that. Accused, okay, Wait, this is LA. What are you reading that shit off the roof? Lost out of times though. About a month after settling her lawsuit that accused the streaming giant of gender and racial discrimination, how she get the racial part in it? Would you just read the fucking article? The comedian, the comedian actress announced her Netflix special will arrive. Can y'all believe this shit? She laughed in her video post. That's how she sounds. I done came home to Netflix. Bitch, they didn't even want you there. No, no, no. Just read the fuck out. Don't, don't, don't inject your commentary yet. I'm That's trying to be we, quiet. Read the article. We do here. And then we go. No, no. Oh, so, you, 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 you didn't no, no, no. inject my commentary. You, Jesse Lee Peters. I you inject your commentary. No, no, no. I wasn't reading no article. You read the article. I was reading the article. Without injecting your commentary yet. Wow. You're trying to, really you trying to talk shit about Monique about. before you read the article. Read what the fuck she said. How much did she pay you? Did she give you some of that? Nah, 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 just read the, oh, just read the article. No, we own that. Oh, that I got you, nigga. No word. Hey, y'all. I, I got you. Monique, and I'm so excited to share that I've been shooting my first Netflix comedy special. She continued before referencing her upcoming role in The Deliverance. That's what the, um they didn't put in article. That's what the, uh, Lee Daniels. Uh, and the delivers. And in case you didn't hear, I'm reunited with my best, my friend, my brother, director Lee Dan's a Netflix film. You want, you won't want to miss either of them. So y'all stay tuned and thank y'all, my sweet bitch. bitch I ain't your baby. Uh, I love us for real. You don't love us. Additional Amen. details include the exact date for the special one release. The deliverance, <laughs> what you say? I said, Damon, <laughs> I'm gonna get your money, Damon. Monique and Netflix offer her five hundred thousand. Okay, we already know about this. The five hundred thousand dollars she was no, mad read, no, read it, read it. Yeah, I'm gonna do what Netflix you do. Netflix offer yeah, five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, read the article. I'm gonna do what you do. Yeah, read the article. Yeah, read the article. Now this nigga want me to read. It's awfully funny. The past shows this nigga never wanted me to read shit, but now he want me to read. Wow, he really came in for Big Mama. Wow. <laughs> I'll do what you want me to do. Wow. I'll read the article. I'll read the article. I'll go ahead and read it. No, no, no. I'll read it. 
<laughs> you clearly caping for this woman. Monique <laughs> Netflix offered her $500,000 in 2018 for a comedy schedule, but refused to negotiate after she felt the offer was low. In 2019, the Oscar winning actress sued Netflix and accused the stream of systematically underpaying black women, pointing out multi million dollar deals that company reported gave Chris Rock, Ellen DeGeneres, Dave Chappelle, and Rick Guerrero. Guerreros. Whatever. Actually, his special was actually kind of, it was decent. I don't know what the fuck that is. I had a choice to make, Monique said in an Instagram post at the time. I could accept what I felt was paid discrimination or I can stand for those who came before me and those who will come after me. I choose to stand. How long is this article? I ain't gonna, okay, I only got like two. Let me skip around. I just, uh, I just no, you won't know. You wanted me to read it, so I will read, 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 read the motherfucker and just read it. There. In June, it was re uh, revealed that the two sides had settled a lawsuit. Uh, the suit, oh shit, what happened? Oh, they want me pay for the rest. Never mind. <laughs> just scroll more. So, wait, so, I want to know how much you got paid though. Nah, now I was researching that. They don't say. Okay. <laughs> got, well, whatever it was, it was something she agreed to. Five hundred and one dollar. Five hundred <laughs> and a bag of Doritos. Five hundred and one thousand dollars. Five hundred and one thousand dollars. Her and Tony. Her and Tony Woods got split. <laughs> bag of Doritos on the dollar. The Doritos. <laughs> hey, babies. Go, nigga. <laughs> what? No, 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 man. You, you the one with the beef, nigga. What's your beef? Man? I don't have beef with her. I don't know this broad. You nigga, you want to do a whole, you want to talk about it, broad talk about it. This is big news. Okay, so my issue is, so, now you know what it is? It's kind of like the whole, remember uh, uh, Spike Lee, the year before he won uh, for Oscar for best screenwriting, he was boycotting Oscars. What did, he get about, a, what did he get Oscar for? What movie? Uh, shit. Must he got best screenwriting. No, nah, it was best screenwriting. I think it was his last movie. I think it was good too. Nate, and then you're gonna be the five blood. Nah, nah. I don't think he directed that. Yeah, that was his movie. Oh, I've never seen that. I'm surprised I haven't because my boy was in it. Um, the, uh, um, Daryl uh, Lindau. Yeah, but it's kind of like when he won an Oscar for, um, let's see, he won an Oscar for do you with Black Klansman? Yes, Black Klansman. Yeah, that movie wasn't even that great, but okay. Wow, the movie was actually good. It was all right. It was, it was decent. Good. Well, it was for the script, not the directing. Okay. But anyway, that was the so anyway. He got he the year before he was mad at some shit about the Oscars, this, that, and the third, yada yada yada. I see you doing research. Do your research while I talk. Uh I do no research. <laughs> research. I know that. I know that research look. Don't play me, nigga. I put my, I leave my hands up here. Girl, you can jack off without your hands. You told me. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so, and then a year after, he won for best Oscar for best adaptation for screenplay. For what? Black Lionsman. Oh, so you saying that the one year he said something, the next year he won? This nigga on stage. Yeah, okay. I'm saying I'm great. This okay. nigga on stage jumping around, cooning, buffooning like that. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you. That's how I feel how Monique did. Monique, Monique sat there and boycotted with told black people to boycott Netflix. Okay. Don't get Netflix because they offered me five hundred thousand dollars, even though nobody can sell me to out in these streets can say one Monique joke or one bitch she got. That's not from the Queens of Comedy. If anybody's seen that shit, because I didn't see it. Samoa was actually funny on that. I did see Samoa part. And now she's talking about, they little babies I didn't came home. <laughs> Bitch, they didn't want no, they, they didn't even want you in the house, but you came home. So, what, so what's your beef? I'm, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what you're legit. What's your beef with her? Because she literally bitched about Netflix, this, that, and the third. And then out of nowhere, settled with them and did a Netflix special with them. Now, wait a minute, let me finish. Did a Netflix mm -hmm. special with them. Netflix didn't give you settlement money. They gave you a loan that you were going to work off. So when you go out there and shoot your shoot your special, what money she going to use? Netflix ain't giving her no money. I she going to use the money on. Netflix gave her. Uh, what what, what you get this whole idea it's a loan from? What's that from? Oh, uh, uh, your thing breaking up again. Hold on. It's breaking up. What did you do? I didn't do anything. It was that better. Uh, 
So what makes you think it was a loan from Netflix as opposed to them just giving her money to do the special? Because you said it was a loan. Where the fuck you get that from? So Chris Rock said when he got, say, the $40 million from uh, Netflix, right? they gave him $40 million for his special, but he would have to reinvest that into his special. They didn't give him $40 million and they were going to you know, do tours, book and all that. That was all on him. So they gave him forty million to say, "Okay, this here's your money. Now you go do tours and come back with a special." Yeah. Okay, so what's the problem with that? So, so did Netflix give her settlement money, or that they just gave her money from the settlement? Like, all right, go ahead. You can you get your Netflix I mean, you special. You know what the beef, nigga? You don't know. No, I'm. You know I'm what they gave you, her? I, I, I just said it to you. I literally just said it to you. That's what I'm saying. So, is it settlement money, or is it money that she can put on the tour and come back with a special? I'm asking you which one. I know, I know. I, it's like I don't know why it's choppy on this. Hold on, let me see something. Hold on. So you don't even know. Well, I, I don't know what you're saying. Hold on. All right, start talking. I said, so is it is it for the settlement money? Did she get settlement money, or did she get money to do a tour and come back with the special? She got settlement money. She ain't get no money for it. They didn't give her. It doesn't say anything in there where they say, "All right, here's some settlement money." Plus, we're going to give you money. You know what I'm saying? We're going to offer you a deal with Netflix so because you don't even the know movie. The term- because the, the terms are, she would have came out with the term. They would have said the term just like they did with Dave Chappelle, like they did with Chris Rock, like they did with uh, Amy Schumer. I don't think she got a lot of money for this. I mean, but how? But how much money was she asking for? Oh, I think I know what it is. What? So, I, so it's whenever I have like this, um, the video in the, you know, the little video that I can add to the thing. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I think I had to take it down after a while, like delete it, because when oh, I take it, when I delete it, you're fine. You're All right. Yeah, go ahead. So, wait a minute. So we were, going, we were saying, so what, what yeah, was her lie. money for? Is the money to put on a tour or the money for uh, for her to shoot the special and come back with the special? Well, she looked like she's shooting her own special and they just let, they just put it on the platform. Okay, so what's the problem? What did she win? Did she get anything out of this? Because it will make sense to me because all they said was, and also the movie deal is through Lee Daniels. Okay. So, it, it, okay. So all these people make it. So she was wrong, but somehow all these people making up with her. Lee Daniels, first of all, Lee Daniels had no fucking credibility. Let's go there. First of all. I mean. No, no. He owed, see, he, he, owed, he owed Damon Dash money. Anytime a motherfucker got to run you down to get your money, you got no credibility. I mean, let's be honest. It's David Dash. I mean, I don't he, a, fuck, but this, but he a hard y'all, nigga. No, fuck all that. Y'all, all y'all hate on Damon Dash because the motherfucker. I don't know that nigga either. I don't you have, all you can do is listen to what he said. The motherfucker, Damon Dash has a certain amount of integrity because Damon Dash will not just take money just to take money. The, as much as they black, I, I ain't going to say Damon Dash was blackballed, but to me, it felt like he was kind of blackballed. Because people say he's difficult to work with. But he seems like his whole thing is, look, do what you say you're going to do. Pay me what the fuck you say you're going to pay me. Y'all get mad at a motherfucker for standing up. It, you know, what it, it feels like motherfuckers who rather get the bag, they get mad when people stand up for themselves. Because you know what's going to happen with Monique? Monique, whatever she got for this special, you think the people that come behind her aren't going to say, aren't going to, feel like they should stand up for themselves or they should get something because of what, what Monique got. Hmm, I see. Clipping. But now what I was saying was, you think the people that come behind Monique, they're not going to be able to say, okay, I want the same money Amy Schumer got or I want the same money somebody, I, at least I want the same money Monique got. You think the people that come behind her ain't going to be able to ask for better shit? They can't because, again, Amy Schumer was on fire at the time. Mo, the only reason Monique is on fire right now is because of the beef she had with people, the D.L. Hughley thing. She's name name Amy Schumer, Joe. I never watched Amy Schumer. Exactly, nigga. Wait, wait, wait. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's you said can't nobody say Monique Joe. Nobody know fucking Amy Schumer joke either. Okay. Not one that she didn't I'm steal I'm so from happy you brought that portion of the show up. I'm so, so let's go through these comments on Comedy Hype, which is credible. Talk us on, on Monique. Let's see what they say about the upcoming First of all, let's, let's, let's talk about something. First of all, Comedy Hype has PA on that motherfucker. PA, PA ain't done shit since Def Comedy Jam. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? She is. She better be funny because it, it ain't a slew of comedians are going to have a... Because a slew of comedians are going to have a field day with her. 
Uh, let's see. I, I agree with Pierre. Comedy hype comedy I for. want to see because these are people because these are her babies. These are her babies. These are not her babies. These are motherfuckers who watch comedy. I agree with Pierre. I want to see some court documentation. She Have gassed. You seen it, Pierre do stand up, nigga? She gassed the whole community just to settle and work for the company in anyways. That's nigga, it. you really bring yeah. up Pierre? I didn't Pierre bring up from DC. Pierre doing the same jokes he been doing on Def Jam, nigga. Now Netflix. Well, now Netflix. Now Netflix is cool, and Daz is her brother. Laughing my ass off. But they Let's made see. up with her. If you come on, man. Let me tell you they, something. Why would they make? If she's so much trouble, why the fuck would they reconcile? Because she. Because now at this point, everybody's going to watch this special to see if it's worth it. Let me and? tell you something. Because that, that means y'all, y'all hate minute, when the motherfucker stand up for himself. It has nothing to oh my this nigga keep bringing up standing up. I don't give a fuck if she's standing stand up. up for herself. I never cared that she stood up for herself. My issue was how she did it. Okay, you had beef with Netflix, cool. Then she started bringing in other goofy shit. Who whatever goofy shit she brings. She started talking about Steve Harvey. Start talking oh, about oh, oh. oh god. I'm just oh. get this nigga just nigga act like he just oh. came. Oh, oh God! Oh, like nigga, let me finish. Nigga, Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey is fucking irrational. Steve, Har- Steve Harvey already said he do shit for the bag. Steve Harvey has no fucking integrity. She went against. That's why Bernie Mac. That's why there was no second Kings of Comedy we're not, tour. Because Bernie Mac didn't want to fuck with him. She went at. Okay, what about D.L. Uh, Hughley? What about D.L. Hughley? Dale Hughley ain't shitty. Dale Hughley a fucking goofball. Okay, so it seemed, again, you came in for this bitch. I'm just saying, I'm to Dale Hughley. Dale Hughley, but this nigga had a whole side baby. You want to listen to a nigga with the side? You want to listen to a nigga with a whole side baby? Okay, we you can't, once you, once you got a side baby, you can't tell nobody shit about being a man. He tell me, this motherfucker on his radio shit about, what? No, 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 no. He told him on the radio system, oh, what men should do, how men should act. This nigga had a whole side baby. This nigga's going down a rabbit hole. I ain't gonna has fuck nothing. the rabbit. I'm just telling you that's what happened. To do with it does. Because you're taking the size of motherfuckers with no integrity I'm t- at all. I'm taking, so you're okay. Okay, so it seemed like your argument. Okay, so let's say if he didn't have the baby, would okay. you be on the Hughley side? I, would I be on the side? I, I would probably be more inclined. Movie. I would be because more he inclined. Had a side, because he had I would a side be more, wait, 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 wait. I would be more inclined to be on his side. Steve Harvey ain't gonna never be on that nigga's side. Who DL Hughley? Steve Harvey. He's never gonna be on whose side? Steve, I'll never be on Steve Harvey's side. Oh, you won't. Oh, okay. No, well, I'll never be on his side. I don't fuck with Steve Harvey. I got I got I heard too many stories about Steve Harvey. Okay, sir. I, I, you don't do okay. That's he. That's he say. She said we don't do chitty pat. You know what's up? What's if, if a mo, if, wait a minute. He say uh, some first what hand shit. Man, how's the first? How the first hand account? He say she say. Look, look. Let's stay on topic. I don't want to talk about side babies. You, you brought you brought up I'm, Steve Harvey. I, no, you said I, Monique brought other people into the conversation. I said t- who? You said Steve Harvey. Yeah, I said the, well, Steve Harvey got more credibility than Monique, nigga. She don't have issue with white people. Well, how come she ain't never got issue with white people? Why got no issue with white people? She don't. She don't have issue with white people. Don't no, you know, white people on Netflix, nigga. What are you talking about? Okay, that was one company. Where, where it? Okay, as soon as she, I but know then she have issue with white people. What white she people? Never, she, no, one thing about Monique, if she got issue with you, she'll bring it up. So what white people. Well, maybe she had a, what issue was she? Having oh, so you said she only had problem with niggas. I'm just saying, what white people was she having an issue with? Don't seem like she. Don't she seem work like, with niggas. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Cause, cause soon as she got this money, she was like, "I can't hold, baby. They gave me that paper." If you don't, if you don't work with a lot of white people, how you gonna have beef with her? She's supposed to have this arbitrary beef. What I don't know. You talking about? I don't know. But it seems she like worked she, with, she worked with Lee Daniels. Oh, I'm sorry, he Lee Daniels, Oprah, Tyler Perry. They all black. She's supposed to go find random white people to, to get in an argument with. Can we stick to the topic at hand? You, nigga, the topic is Monique. Nigga, well, you act like she's hard to work with. Babies. I'm just I, no, no, no. Like talk, no, 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 no. It's, cre- like it's credibility. It's credibility. Okay, we're not talking about credibility. I'm we are talking about credibility. If you talk about if you talk, if some hey, look, if you got Monique on this side, Dale Hughley on this side, Monique say one thing, Dale Hughley say another thing. I'm looking at who has the most credibility, okay. not the motherfucker with the side, baby. <laughs> okay, let's let's move all that to the side. Move to the side. All right. Okay, let's stick to the topic at hand. So. Okay. Somebody said if she's not allowed to speak on it, means she signed an NDA and Netflix basically gave her hush money. 
So she has not said anything about this deal. She she ain't said how much she got paid. No. Okay, and so she, you can talk about how much they were offering, but you can't talk about how much they paid you. So well, if you sign an NDA, no, you can't. Well, why would you that's, sign an NDA? That's a legal document. That's a legal document. All the other people was able to talk about how much they got. Are you sure? I know for are you are you sure they talk about it or did somebody yes, just did it did, or did it quote unquote wait did he say it or did a quote unquote rumor come out about what he got? He said he got sixty million. One like when you know he they be popping up on YouTube all his like small um like clips. Okay, he, like shows. He said he he said he got that. Okay, but he gave it out. Was it the, but the NDA was for so she I mean, she got a settlement, but the money she got from the settlement was not to do a Netflix special, right? No, but we don't know what her Netflix deal is. It doesn't seem like she is got it, a Netflix deal. Is it, it seems like deal Netflix, under, huh? is it Netflix deal on the NDA? Then her NDA didn't come out. Or the settlement the NDA. Nothing came out about anything. The only thing she said, and Netflix didn't relieve a post or anything. Oh, she said, Hey babies, I didn't came home. So where do you get the story about the NDA from? I'm just assuming. Oh, then you don't even know what the fuck you because she ain't talking about here. it. You're not talking about. That don't mean it was an NDA. Why, think why she does know. she feel? I don't tell you how much money I make a year. Nobody knows. I don't tell no fucking about. Oh, it. I ain't got no NDA. Well, I don't have an NDA there. Just don't tell people. But she can talk about how much they try to offer her. That, okay, she can say the motherfucker tried to lowball me. But she didn't say lowball. She specifically said five hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so she said okay. They tried to lowball her. Okay, a. Eh? Well, but she can't talk about how much she got now. So let's say if we oh. all fall, let's say she. Do you want somebody to go rob her? her? Let's say nigga, ain't nobody robbing. I can, I can talk about I can talk all I can talk all day about the money I didn't get. I ain't gonna talk about the money I do have. What the fuck would I do that for? She did all this to go back. Netflix gave her a loan to go out there and shoot a special. So Wait a minute. do you did know she how get Netflix a settlement? Were... Did she get a settlement or did she get money to shoot a special? She got a settlement. A settlement is not that's not the same thing. No, what I'm a settlement talking. means a settlement is they gave we her did money. some wrong shit and let me give you some bread to keep okay. it quiet. We gave her the money. Cool. They gave her the bread. Good. Okay. Bread in her account. Check cleared. Okay. <laughs> Two days early. Okay. Cool, buddy. Because she wants to do it on Monday, came in on Friday. Because okay. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday is a holiday. Saturday, right. Sunday weekend. So, how much did she get? Did she get a Netflix deal to shoot a special? Wait, is it, wait but did she get a Netflix deal or did she get a settlement? I just said, I'm asking you, question mark. I don't, nigga, I don't know. I don't oh, okay. pocket watch people. I didn't, I didn't say pocket watch. I never said we so pocket watch. What the fuck watch I it. care for what she got for Netflix? Because it doesn't seem, because all she said was, my Netflix special is coming to Netflix. My new comedy special is coming to Netflix. Okay. So, typically. Did she film it yet? Did she film me yet? That, I don't know. I feel like she did. You got a whole lot of shit to say for somebody who don't know shit. You know that, this, right? You know this just came out, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. I'm just making sure. You know what I'm saying? You got this whole thing about settlement money and what, money, oh my god! And loan, and see, I just read your money article. Loan, I read your article. Did I read your article? Did I read your article? Does it say it's a loan in the article? I'm saying it's a loan. Then you, nigga, well, who do you know to tell you it's a fucking loan? Because that's how Netflix works. They give well, you now, six. Now, now you work for Netflix, nigga. Now you know how Netflix works. All right, nigga. I'm, I'm just saying that's what you just said. Now okay, you know how Netflix so who, works. Then, okay. How was she going to shoot the special? With what money? The same, what you mean? What, maybe, oh, you were just about to say it. You were just about to say maybe, it. The maybe, settlement maybe. money. Nigga, you were just about to say it. What Don't lie. Is. I heard you. I heard you. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it was on the tip of your toe. Show over, nigga. I won. He literally was like, and I was like, why did you lie? You lie. You lie, nigga. Lie, nigga. Lie. What did you win? What did you win? Because you was about to say settlement money. But you don't know what the deal is. Nah. Go ahead. That's what I'm saying. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't know what the deal is. The deal could have been. But you about to say settlement money. But let me say something. No, just yes or no. Were you about to say settlement money? Possibly. Okay. That's all I need to hear. But that's what I'm saying. But maybe. But maybe. No. But some people. What some people do is. They shoot the shit. They shoot the shit themselves. They shopping around on Netflix. Man, okay, okay, I got a special. Watch this shit. Because like Corey Holcomb, he tried to take his shit and sell it to Netflix. You heard Netflix about that didn't story? take it. Wait, hold on. Netflix didn't take it. So he started selling DVDs himself. What's the no, model? They were happy first. They what? His manager, somebody leaked it online. Oh, no, I saw that. And then he started selling it. He was like, for the real niggas out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sorry so about that. 
Do you know how much of an asshole dickhead you got to be where nigga leak your shit? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying though. But sometimes you shoot shit and then you try to sell it. You, you use your money, shoot it, and then you try to sell it. So I don't know if I don't know if Monique's the Dave Chappelle deal was probably we're gonna give you this money to go shoot these specials and then you give them to us. Monique's deal may be shoot the, shoot the, the specials, edit it yourself, and then we'll give you money when we when it comes back. I don't know what Monique's deal is, but you don't either. But the settlement money has nothing to do with the money that shoot the special. That's two completely different things. What I'm saying is, without your interruption, All right, me... maybe she shot the special. Let's say she shot the special. Okay. Including in the deal, they were like, all right, we'll give you settlement money. Just bring your special over to Netflix. Okay. Then basically, Netflix gave her settlement money slash border Netflix deal. But that can't, because, it can't be, uh, legally it can't be the same thing. Legally, no. But they could find a way to make it seem like yeah, we gave her settlement money, brought a special over. We, you know, we 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 gave her money for that special though. I mean, th- I mean, technically, you could say okay, we but you can put you anything on a loss. You can put seven, anything on a loss. That's what I'm saying. You could say technically, but it still would have to be two separate things. So you can't say I'm gonna give you a million dollars for the settlement and to shoot a special. You got to give her an amount for the settlement. You got to give her an amount to shoot the special if that's what they did. When I saw Chris Rock, when he did his first special on Netflix. I know he he didn't shoot the special first because all those excuse me because he mentioned kind of made a joke about the Netflix special and said that I think the joke was like uh they didn't give me the money or they gave me the money but shit I got to put that back in or something like that of that they probably, that, probably, they probably and, gave him the money but like he would come back with a special yeah come back with a special but he had to use that money to promote travel bring his team and everything they just didn't okay. give him 400 million dollars and plus they're gonna buy a special off of him but that's, that's what i said are you, are you fucking listening no what i'm saying i said monique may have the settlement is probably a separate amount of money from the money you get to shoot the special it can't be the same thing it can't be uh yeah maybe till three hold on what the fuck is you doing i gotta go somewhere but anyway in the uh, conversation. What I'm saying is, it doesn't seem like for her to be up in and blatant all this, that, the third. Up she probably blatant. signed, you know, in the beginning, it was like they gave me five hundred thousand dollars. My babies come, uh, uh, stop supporting Netflix, yada yada yada. This, that, the third, and then to come in and be like, look, babies, I didn't came home, even though these niggas what's didn't wrong want with you. That? But what's the problem? You know what's weird to me with black people. You always no, go what? home. You always call a place home that didn't want you. They literally do that. Now I will give it to uh, what's the what's the dude on the Weather Channel? The Weather Channel. Uh, he on the what Weather you Channel. Talking about you know the black dude. He, he, he so Byron Allen. Byron Allen. I respect what he did because he wanted his. I think it was on Comcast. He sued Comcast because right. they wouldn't put his network on there it, uh, i don't think it was that he wanted his, for him to have an entire network uh and them not put it on to me that was something to fight for yeah but but let me say byron allen shit was there was it was some shady shit with that whole byron allen deal with him or he, comcast he, well he was there uh, but he was in cahoots with another company trying to get the comcast shit. so it wasn't it was like byron allen and uh, it was Somebody using Byron Allen as a cover. It was Sinclair Broadcasting. That's a whole other thing to get into. Well, Sinclair, bro, well, they all come. Well, that's a whole. That's kind of like no, Viacom and shit, though. It, it, but yeah, it was, that's what I'm saying. It was. It wasn't just. It wasn't just Byron Allen. Like, hey, this is race discrimination. It was some other shit. Somebody put some money ex- behind Byron Allen to, to push that lawsuit forward. So it wasn't uh, just I mean, Byron. That, Allen. Is that a good thing or bad thing? Uh, I mean, if you get because if if it, someone's going to assist you in a lawsuit, I don't see that's a bad thing. To me, it's a bad thing if if there's a if there's a big company that's that's not owned by us that's saying, "Hey, it's it's kind of like this thing where they they put you and make you the forefront of a battle, so you can use race discrimination as a reason to get it passed, as opposed to um the, the real reason they want to get it passed." Like I said, they used Byron Allen. He was they put a black face on their beef. 
They put a black face. You're, but Sinclair, yeah, Sinclair Broadcast is on Comcast, though. Not, on it or owns it? On it. Like, they have. Yeah, they, now. Yeah. I think they were on, I think they were on there before the whole Byron Island thing. We got I gotta do some reading. I'm pretty sure I'm it pretty was sure a, they were though. It was another they, it was a whole other thing. I might a, it was a couple of years ago, so I don't really like have all the details on Well, that's neither here though. What I'm trying yeah. to say is that certain things it's just weird to me, and this seems like it'd be a black thing. If they don't want you there, why are you fighting? Why why are you calling the place home? That's just weird to me. What do you think? I said, two of the lightest niggas on the internet talking about black shit. <laughs> Nigga, I am black. I don't give a fuck with anybody. I am too. I just said, we two of the lightest niggas you ever see on it. <laughs> I am black. But anyway. I gave you said, school school. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it just said when you try, well, no, like I said, I'm, I'm, they, I'm coming home. They didn't want you there. Now, they, now let's, now, I'm not going to say Netflix didn't want her there, but you, you know, they, they were giving you what they thought you were worth. And to me, you're worth five hundred thousand dollars. Honestly, I think that's a little overpriced. Well, it, well see that. Okay, now here, here's where I may agree with you. So I don't know what the terms of the five hundred thousand were. So it's kind of hard to say if it was fair or not. Like if you're giving me, if you're telling me, okay, I want you to shoot Netflix special. I'm gonna give you five hundred thousand dollars. You got to go tour A, B, C, D. Then maybe, maybe that's under. Maybe that's a low ball offer. If you just if you if I already shot my shit and you offer me five hundred thousand dollars, maybe it's not a low ball offer. I mean, without knowing exact terms of the agreement, it's I think hard you to just say. go out there and shoot the special. Like I just think you give you five hundred thousand dollars to shoot a special. That's how much we're giving you. Like Wanda Sykes, I think she said she got fifty thousand dollars to shoot a special. They but give you. Was, oh, let's 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 be serious here for a second. All I'm jokes aside, serious. no, no, I'm you're serious. not. No, you're not. Nigga, I am. Oh, you came for this bra. I give her the respect. She deserves. I love Monique. Bra. I ain't gonna bullshit. Bro. Fuck I'm Monique. Doing... I love some more though. Oh my nigga, God. are you gonna fuck Monique? I, I swear to God, nigga. Uh, I no, I would not fuck Monique. But anyway, I'm gonna have you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna call Monique. I'm gonna fuck. She go. She go. You know what? One day she gonna pop on this motherfucker. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you deal with her. First off, you gotta on be one. on time. And she gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna, one day, no, for real. One day. I'm gonna pop up. And it's gonna be when the when the screen pop up. It's gonna be me here and be Monique right there. Okay, anyway. And I'm just and I'm gonna just sit back and let you and Monique hash this shit out. Cause we because we got about 19 minutes because I want to say oh, let's, this. Let's rock and roll. Oh, okay. Yet yeah, just yes or no. Yes or no. When this happened in 2018, when she boycotted Netflix, what was she doing that she thought she was deserving enough to let's say I don't know. I, I'm I'm going to say she didn't think she was going to get 60, 50, or even 13 mil. Let's say Netflix, she wanted 5 mil. Do you think she was worth $5 million to have a special on Netflix in 2018? So you say yes or no. Okay, for 5 million, I'll say, I'll say no. Okay. How much would you have given that? I mean, how much would you have given Monique for a Netflix special in 2018? Five hundred thousand dollars. No, no, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> because, be, but, but, see, the the thing you leaving out is, I don't know what the terms were. See, oh, let's the, make wait, up some wait, terms. Hold, hold, hold on, wait a minute. Let's listen, listen for a second. If the terms was, I'm gonna give you five hundred thousand dollars to go out and shoot a special, and you come back with the special. To me, that's undercut. See, like, cause they, they, I don't. What did they say? Amy Schumer got thirteen. See, if Amy Schumer got $13 million, it was like, here, I'm going to give you $13 million, so you can go on tour, film this shit, bring us back a special. That's one thing. If you tell him, tell him Monique to do the same thing with $500,000, you undercutting her. If you tell him Monique, come come to us with a special, and you can keep the $500,000, that may be fair depending on what the terms were. She was gonna to have to use the five hundred thousand to shoot the special, but that's not enough money. Okay, I think they gave Amy Schumer thirteen million because she was selling out arenas. You don't need now. This is just me. I don't think you. Let's say if she did the Warner Theater. No, let's do let's do the MGM out in out out in Maryland. Okay, that's not an arena. Okay, because I saw Chris Rock there, but Chris Rock also does arenas too. Mm. Do you think 
Monique was going to be doing arenas or theaters and what's the other thing they call theaters and something else. I don't I mean, but Mon Monique has done well. She's done like the Monique and Friends shit. She no, we specifically talk about Monique. No, no, wait, her wait, friends wait, weren't wait, funny. Wait, 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 wait. But she did the Monique and Friends shit in arenas. So, I mean, even Dave. Should, well, I ain't gonna say him because he, he probably you, could do. But, it. But, but when you see Monique and Friends, you're coming out there for Monique and her friends. You're not seeing just Monique. So it sounds like she's gonna be doing jokes here and there, but, coming out. Yada. yada. Wait, hold on, hold on. But, I was specifically talking about just Monique. When I went to go see Chris Rock, I don't remember the other two or three niggas that was. I remember seeing Chris Rock for an hour. So we have okay. to specifically talk about Monique in an arena for an hour. But I, but, I, but it's like okay. But I haven't, I, I haven't personally, I haven't seen Dave Chappelle doing an arena. I'm not, I'm not saying he couldn't fill up an arena. I see Dave Chappelle like one theater. He was out at the casino when uh, with the live casino out in uh. In a rundle, like that's not a that's not a that's not an arena. Now I've seen Chris Rock doing an arena where like the whole arena was full and he was in the middle of that motherfucker. There've there have only been a few people I've seen do an arena like that. Like he's done it. I've seen Dane Cook do it. Uh, but I haven't seen a lot of comedians it. do the fucking arena where and they call it in the round where you're in the center of the arena and the whole arena is packed with people. But I'm I'm specifically saying that Amy so Schumer stain, showed out in a ring. Now, the only reason I've never seen Amy, Amy Schumer in the ring, so I can't say. No, well, she ha she's done arenas. Now you got to okay. remember how many arenas do we have? We only have two, one, and I'm just using DMV. The only one you would really go to would be um uh uh, uh, uh do, do, Verizon, Verizon Center. Verizon. What about the Capitol, Baltimore? Capitol. What about the Baltimore arena? That's a Baltimore state. arena, huh? Is that, is that a Baltimore that arena? Arena. Oh, how big is that? I've never been there. I mean, it's big as shit, but I mean, like something like that. Yeah. Big. So we only have two. So yeah. if we don't, I don't know what he's done outside. Like uh, Bill Burr, who just dropped the special, he did in a uh, that was an arena. He did well. But it was him and other people, wasn't it? Or was it just him? No, nah, it was just him. He was on stage. Okay. If that was, I think that that was like an hour and some change. He's probably on the stage for like two hours. I think Bill. I, honestly, I think Bill Burr could do. I think Bill Burr could do three hours if you let him. Yeah, he good. But he did, you know, he did uh, Verizon Center. When I saw oh, Bill Burr, that motherfucker, yeah. when it when he ended his jokes, it was like he ended his joke. It was like he he wasn't finished yet. He, wasn't. he was like, okay, the red lights on. No, he I wasn't. gotta go. He, <laughs> he just wanted to keep going. Yeah, that motherfucker. Ah, uh, we gotta talk about him next week because I, I had a joke. Well, I can tell you real quick. Do you saw it, right? I didn't watch the special yet. No, I didn't watch it. Nigga, nigga, all these homework. Nigga, I got this job. What the fuck you talk about? Like, I ain't I'm afraid we talking about Monique and, and all this shit. Nah, I just wanted to say how some black comedians, you know, they go all out, go all out on their outfit. Uh, Little bro, look, he grabs some shit from the washer and dryer <laughs> and put it on. Put that shit on the go out there. <laughs> His wife was like, "You don't want wait. I bought this outfit. Nah, I'm just getting with the city. I'm good. Nigga. I'm good. But anyway, no. On. But you said she was not worth. Okay, how so a meal? Do you think she was worth a million to go out to, to shoot her own special? Yes, because you also have to put this put this in perspective. Dave Chappelle always shuts down Netflix when a special of his drops, right or wrong. Uh I'll say right. I don't know about Amy Schumer because I don't I didn't watch her, so I can't really use her. But to an extent, I think Chris Rock kind of did, but I wasn't watching for Chris Rock because I already saw him live. And once I started watching the special, I was like, oh, I already seen these jokes live. I don't think Monique has the capability to shut down shit. Now, I will say, I do think she does now. And the only reason, because everything was a buildup. And you know what it is? It's like she's been from 2018 to 2022. This was a buildup. Well, all the bullshit she was doing, now she finally got the next Netflix special. Can she deliver? Because if she doesn't deliver, everybody will be like, "Oh, I can see why Netflix gave you that paper." Didn't give you that paper. She has a. She honestly has a huge target on her back, and if she doesn't come with that fire, if she if she's just yelling, screaming, talking about my babies, this that, and the third, she, she's gonna fail miserably. She wants to shut down her goddamn Twitter okay. and Instagram. So how how many specials have you? How many times have you seen Monique do stand up like specials and shit like that? Okay, I seen the one she did in prison. Okay, how how was that? Uh, one funny. Okay, 
And when and when did you watch it? This was on Showtime. Fuck. I mean, how long ago was it? Oh, nigga. I think she was still fat. <laughs> I mean, how long was it? Was it 10 years ago, 20 About years ago? 10 years? I think I seen it when it dropped. Okay, okay. Because right. that came out in 2005, 2006. Something like that. That's that's okay. especially old. Like 15, 15 years. Okay. Oh, I think I was in high school or going okay. to high school. Anyway, and I saw the Monique and Friends. That wasn't funny. Her and her friends weren't funny. Okay. And uh oh, and Queens of Comedy. Because I don't okay. think she has a bunch of specials out there. Okay. And if y'all gonna give anybody special, give some more Netflix deal. She has shows. Some more, so I everything I seen was some more. She been fun. But she had like I know she had a couple of show times or this. Yeah, but I'm talking about she might have a deal with Showtime. I mean, I mean, if you got to deal with one place, you may not be able to get both. I thought you were about to say if you got to deal with one woman, you don't have to deal with both. Yeah, well, that that hopefully that's the deal. (laughs) (laughs) I just don't. I just look. I don't have any issue with her. You sound like you do, nigga. Because as soon as you hear some more dudes, you be on her ass. Nah, it was the whole thing about babies. I come at home. They didn't want you there. Like they literally didn't want you there. Like to an extent, they kind of didn't want. Like you gave, they offered you something, you didn't want it, and now you have the easy. Uh, like she didn't I don't say she didn't say, want it. She didn't want the five hundred thousand. She didn't say she didn't want it. She said I. She didn't. But she, she didn't say more. I don't want. She didn't say I don't want it from Netflix. She said I want a fair deal. But she didn't want that deal. Like if See, you, you want, she wanted a fair, which she considered a fair deal. That was fair. You even kind of said it was. But, nah, I said fair, depending on the terms. So you be leaving shit out, nigga. Well, I honestly tried to look up the terms. I, I couldn't find them, but because I saw the lawsuit. It depends on the terms. You think? I mean, you think Netflix gave Dave Chappelle fifty million dollars? Was it fifty million? They sixty gave million. You think they gave him sixty million dollars and was just like, "Hey, no, just keep this whole sixty. I'm no, sure he had to, he had to it, take. I'm had sure he had to, to take some of that money and put it in shit. But that's what I was saying. But but for, to give somebody, it is a big difference between to give me five hundred thousand dollars. Tell me, I got to go tour and come back with a special. But that's how you hustle. Million, when you but do that, but five hundred thousand, you, 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 where the fuck you going with five hundred thousand dollars? You ain't going nowhere. Okay. When you she, or she be shot you, in Baltimore. If you and your daddy can't flip five hundred, so you supposed to hustle that money. Nigga, we talking about stand up comedian. You got to rent an arena and all that other shit. Well, what she are you ain't talking doing arenas. She not doing arenas. Nigga, she, nigga, she, okay, she do. She, she does. Uh, theaters. she does. She does performing art centers and shit because she did it too in Baltimore. She did nigga, the what the fuck? Have nigga, you ever been to the Ark, nigga? The Ark. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's, oh, nigga, ain't from I'm talking about the joints in Baltimore, like the the Lyric Opera House and shit. The she had to do shows. They did, those ain't no small places. Figaro, 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 Figaro. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get out of the fake ass Pavarotti ass nigga. <laughs> but I'm just saying, those aren't small venues. You still got if you got to do everything yourself. To me, you got to rent the shit out. But do you know how many people, people don't people. get Netflix specials and still put out specials? Like she, yeah, well, they, they be chuckle the chuckle hut, nigga. What the fuck no, Gary Owens didn't go to Netflix. Gary, Gary Owens shoot his shit all over the cup. But that's what I'm saying. It's two different things. Some people they they do all their tours, they put the shit together, then they go to Netflix to sell it. Some people. Netflix gives them money. Like, here, take this bag of money. Go shoot a special for us. It's two completely different things. You know, so the be, question is, what are the terms? You know, it'd be funny. She had that. She did the special in 2018. She's like, they finally let me home. And she put out the special for 2018. I'm not I'm not going to let you be smirched. <laughs> I'd be like, bitch, what are the, the, the calves? You tell the what? pre-COVID jokes. LeBron in the cow? What the fuck? Nigga, stop, it, stop, 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 you just, just say you don't like Monique, nigga. Let it be. I don't know her to uh, not like her. I feel like you got personal beef with her. Don't know her. I fuck with Monique. I'm, I clearly do because you cape for the whole time. Even I though, think you cape for DL and all these other goof ass niggas. I didn't cape for Steve I, Harvey. You cape for D, DL. Steve Harvey. You anybody that gets her, you cape for. Steve Harvey is a comedic genius. Have you not seen him on Family Feud? A genius? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> no. are you crazy? I'm joking. Nigga, are I'm you joking. crazy? I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, I got I want all right. Uh that, that's it for the Monique. Look, I'm over. Look, I'm not gonna talk about Monique until she dropped the special. That's it. When she dropped the special, I'ma watch it. It probably ain't gonna be good, but I think you're going to probably gonna be good. 
How many people you know Cape would be like, oh, I'm gonna go see Dale Hughley, nigga. He's gonna be, he be the Chuckle Hut this weekend. No, Dale Nobody. Hughley, I find someone is with you in this Chuckle Hut. What the <laughs> fuck is that at? <laughs> that just sound like a low, a low, that just sound like a low hit comedy club. It probably is one called Chuckle Hut. <laughs> it sound like yeah, when comedians talk back in the day. Remember the Chuckle Hut? You did the Chuckle Hut, man. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna show you this. So, you know, I don't give a shit about Marvel films and TV shows, but I do want to watch this. I'm not going to put this on the trailer because it's, it's a TV show. What? I don't know why, but I'm going to watch it. I'm probably going to watch it at work, though. Was it a trailer? Yeah. All right, OIM group. I think it'll be live action? Or yeah. uh, I think it's a cartoon. I'll fuck with group, though. Is Vin Diesel in this? Probably not. <laughs> I'll, I'll fuck with this. I like Groot though. I like little, the little young, the little Groot. I like that motherfucker. I'll, I'll fuck with that. I, I'm gonna fuck with you. <laughs> I already know. I already know. I'm gonna watch this shit. It's short. Oh, this is short, nigga. Yeah, no, I don't think they could do a whole 30 minutes of this shit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fuck with that. I am. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna fuck with it. I'm still having finished Captain America. I fuck with Groove so I'm on that. Anyway. But the Vin Diesel got to be. What I mean, happened all the Fast Ten updates, Nick? We heard that. I don't think They're they did do it. Week. I don't yeah. think they. I don't. I don't think they have. I don't think they have been any. I did see one story with Michelle Rodriguez said that um, she was looking at. Uh, she was she was looking at Fast Ten, I guess, as a Fast X, whatever the fuck you call it, as a starting point for. She was looking beyond the franchise, like for more. Talking about their kids. Like had moves with their kids and all this type of shit. I'm like, nigga, nobody. I don't. But your loud ass Tyrese kid. Why are you always screaming? <laughs> <laughs> you think Vin Diesel got videotape on somebody? <laughs> yeah, Jesse Lee Peters. <laughs> so, I'm saying, I can't believe he still make movies. And like he he like this motherfucker actually takes like you know when they do t- people had like actors that had the largest box off. They actually give him credit for, yeah, for Guardians Groot. of the Galaxy shit. Yeah, yeah. And like Infinity War. Yeah. Anything Groot was in, he gets credit for it. I mean, you technically have to because he's in it. I know, but I'm just saying, like, in this sense. <laughs> he, he gets counted as like one of the biggest box office stars. Well, they, that, well, they also money. put in Fast and the Furious, too. So No, I know that, that but saying, it's like two franchises, but they, they calculate Infinity War money into his total box office. But I that think they do it said, for I am group. Come on, well, okay, no, you, one line. Well, you have, he has to say it in Chinese. How you doing? I, I, I am group. Spanish. I am, oh, no, it's Japanese. Japanese. I am the good old good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got to go. Thank Why you is that funny? <laughs> Excuse me, another episode of the Club Podcast. Well, they bought this. They bought this. <laughs> Banned us for some shit.